Hello and welcome back to another book review. What I have for you here today is a beautiful slipcase edition of Fairy and Folk Tales of Ireland, edited by the one and only William Butler Yeats. And as you can see, the slipcase here is quite um, sturdy, well constructed, protects the book very, very nicely, uh, really well decorated. This. Um, princess and these two fairies are are this made of this kind of glossy material. You can see it's just a fingerprint magnet, um, but it's really nice. Silhouetted uh, pixies and fairies in the trees here, and down at the bottom looks like a bunch of gnomes. And the back cover is just. Uh, little description of what the book is about and the stories contained therein. But taking the book out, I'll get that out of the way for now. So the book is showing up a little uh, teal colored on camera, but it's not it's not uh, teal colored really. It's um I would say it's more, well this is kind of showing up teal too, <laughs> so I guess this doesn't help very much, but it's kind of like this color here. This is a little bit more blue than what it is actually does look like. But as you can see here, we have a really nice gold stamped text on um, textured paper, but it's high quality, durable, very nice, it does kind of uh, mimic cloth, but uh, it's, I think it's gel text. I think that's what this material is called, if I'm not mistaken, but correct me if I'm wrong. And then there's this really nice, um, simple black uh, design on the cover here. And to show you a shot of the spine, stamped with gold as well. And then the publishing logo on the bottom. Looks really nice on a shelf. Um, and Sirius is a division of, I think it's the, the, um, I think it's the North American or the U.S. Uh, division of Arcturus Publishing. And Arcturus uh, Publishing is, is, they're wobbly. They make really, really beautiful uh, classic edition books just like this one and they're just really well constructed really well made and they're not overly expensive they're very reasonably priced for what you get so I really do recommend them um, their books just last so um, yeah let's let's open this baby up here crack of the spine love that sound uh, simple white end pages title page here with a nice Celtic tree and then the contents page. So this this book was actually published um, originally as Fairy and Folk Tales of the Irish Peasantry back in uh, 1890. So uh, the stories that are, you see in in this book are uh, well, were compiled by none other than uh, William Butler Yeats, and he gathered them from around Ireland, from a variety of historians, uh, one of them being actually Lady Jane Wilde, who is the mother of Oscar Wilde. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. And uh, this this book is uh, a little illustration, a little illustrated, um, not overly but there are some, oh, I haven't seen any. Oh, well, that's just the, ah, oh, here we go. It's a woodcut here. Really nice detail, look at the line work. Um, so there are, are some illustrations, which are always nice. 
Um, and these stories are, uh, there's a whole bunch. There's, there's stories about witches, demons, ghosts, uh, giants, you know, of course, um, the good people, uh, that is fairies and leprechauns and clericons. I'm trying to find some images here. Because they're really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll just kind of thumb through and hopefully find one, but another one for you. But um yeah, there's a variety of 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 stories. And the Irish I find they're just they're wonderful storytellers and and they're written basically just, they seem verbatim, you know, they don't seem to, to, um, there's lots of personality just oozing from the page with these stories, so that's always nice. And at the beginning of each, uh, different chapter, there's these nice, uh, kind of silhouetted, uh, illustrations as well, so... These stories are charming and some are a little eerie, of course, but nonetheless, uh, they're enjoyable and uh, they're still as entertaining as they were many generations ago. I will say, though, that um, um, there is a lot of the Irish language mixed in with English, which can make it a little bit difficult to read, uh, especially pronunciation-wise, because, you know, they're just... Um, <laughs> the way the way Irish words are spelled and how I would how I think English speakers would pronounce them are not at all how they are actually pronounced so um, but it is I will say that there are these little um, footnotes and there is also a notes section in the back um, that is very beneficial as well and I thought it was kind of cool because they actually have uh, sheet music in here so if you're musically inclined, you can actually read, um, you can play the songs mentioned in the stories. So, I thought that was kind of cool. That's not something you usually see. Uh, oh, Tiernanog. I, I will say, I, I was a little bit disappointed um, with how few stories there were about uh, the land of Tiernanog. Uh, I've always been fascinated by that. Uh, which is, of course, the, uh, the fairy world. can show you a little sh shot of contents so that you can have a better understanding of what's inside. Banshee, those were good. They're, they were all really good, I really liked them. The Priest Soul, that was uh, told by Lady uh, Lady Jane Wilde. And a uh, charcoal, looks like a charcoal sketch of uh, Mr. Yates. He has a very pronounced nose, he almost has like a beak nose, I remember thinking that. When I first saw a picture of him. And then a little pixie here in the corner of the introduction, written by uh, Yeats. Just about um, how he came to find these stories and, and uh, whatnot. We start the, uh, start the book off with the trooping fairies. Yeah, it, it, this is a really lovely book. Um, like I said, I can't rave, I can't rave enough about Arcturus and Sirius. So, um, if you are interested in fairy and folk tales, especially the ones around Ireland, I definitely recommend picking up a copy. Um, it's well worth well worth the price. Um, but that that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. We got some sort of satisfaction. And I shall see you in the next video. Take care.